Today I'm going on a nature walk with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and seeing what wildlife filmmaking and pictures I can get with just this phone. So I'm literally in the thick of it at the moment, as you can probably tell. Oh, I thought I could make it across, but no, I'm not trying that. And there is an abundance of wildlife and animals around this place, especially birds. So when I filmed a short in this area, there was this robin that just wouldn't go away. It stayed with me throughout the whole time I was filming and it just becomes so friendly. I didn't have any food or anything, so I couldn't like get it on my hand. But today, this morning, before I started filming this video, I went to the pet shop and actually got some live mealworms. Cheers, see ya. So I'm gonna use them as bait on my hand and see if we can actually make it land on my hand and get like a proper a close-up shot of a robin as well as loads of other animals that we may encounter along this walk into the woods. We're also near an estuary so there is actually some pretty unique birds here. I've already spotted one already which was an egret and because this estuary is quite close to a town people always walk their dogs along here and it's a pretty unique experience because the egrets have become super adaptable to humans and they just really don't care how close you get to them. So I've actually managed to get some shots of me within arm distance of these birds and on this walk already I've already spotted one and managed to get pretty close to it so I've just spotted an egret in the distance there it's actually pretty close so I'm gonna see what we can get on the iPhone 15 Pro Max I've actually just spotted a load of, I think these are called King Arthur's cakes. It's like a type of fungi and I reckon if we find some mushrooms we'll just take some really high quality pictures of those as well, just getting the full experience of what is capable of the iPhone. What's really cool about the iPhone 15 Pro Max is it has a mode called Macro Mode. So as you get closer to a subject, Apple Vision Pro goggles will change into a flower with a line through it. And all you have to do is literally press that button and then you can get even closer. Like I'm literally touching the mushroom and everything is in focus. So first things first, we're going to try and find this robin. Now robins are quite territorial, so I'm pretty sure it's not going to be moving from this place where I saw it last. But in order to get to it, I have to descend down this pretty steep hill. So let's do that first. Now you're probably wondering why aren't I in full camo? Why haven't I got like the gloves on and making as little noise as possible? And that is because like I said, this robin is just so friendly that you don't need camo in order to get it. it hopefully today I'm trying to make it land on my hand. I'm just going to keep this camera rolling because no doubt it's going to pop up and just be right in front of me any moment. So let's just wait until it pops up and then we'll get the mealworms out and we'll try and get a good video of it on my hand on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now as I said these birds are quite territorial but I'm not sure how big a territory of a robin actually is so it could be the whole wood which means it might not be able to hear me so I'm gonna make some bird noises and get the millworms out and see if we can kind of let it know that I'm here and it should pop up. I'm pretty sure that's the noise that blue tits make. Oh <gasps> I got it! There it is. <laughs> right okay this is quicker i've literally only just got here i was about to take off my jumper let's put the mealworms on my hand and see if it comes here we go <gasps> it's near the camera it's probably going to go to the box because i've got the box open yeah it's going to go to the box isn't it these feel so weird in my hand oh my god it's on the camera it's literally on the camera oh no they're all crawling off my hand Right, I'm gonna close the box. Oh, it's getting the ones off the floor now. Oh, fuck. So maybe if I put my hand down. Ah, oh, I got scared. Maybe I was only meant to put a couple on my hand. Because literally they're just falling off and the robin can just get them off the ground. Right, okay, I feel like I'm a pro now. I just need like two in my hand so they don't go everywhere and I can control the chaos. <laughs> Here we go. Just, oh, there's three there. That should do. He loves that camera. He's just always on the camera. I'm literally right in front of a footpath as well, just with my hand out. It's pretty weird. I actually don't think he's like hungry today. He's just gone. This is the other thing. When you've only got like two in your hand, it's not really that appealing because like you can get three worms just on the floor. So it's a hard balance of putting lots in your hand and risking that he's just gonna eat them off the floor when they like fall off or not him coming at all. So I think I'm gonna put some more in my hand. Ah. It's quite a few. <laughs> Come on, Rob. Where's Rob? We're gonna call him Rob. He was so close, and then he just went. <laughs> I'm actually gutted right now. We did get some good ones, but not what I was hoping. I wanted a hand shot. What I think I'm gonna do is just like 
chuck them on the ground and just get some photos of like the bird actually on the ground because I think, I don't know, he's just not that into it at the moment. <laughs> I think that would be the best bet. Also, this is literally just a theory, but I feel like because today it's a lot like milder, there's a lot of like low flying bugs, which is just so easy to snatch up. Like they're all around my face. And if you're a bird, you can easily get them. Like almost like mosquitoes. And the other day when I was filming, there wasn't any of that. So I feel like it's just loads more food that a bird could get rather than just like risking your life for two mealworms in someone's hand like every time i come down here i'll try and make it more and more tame to the point where i can like feed it out of my hand but for today i think we'll leave it at that we got some pretty good photos of it it's back again okay <laughs> as soon as i said that or unless it's like when i'm talking i don't know there it is again see this is on the five time zoom but it it actually struggles to like find focus so what It just made another one. Right, okay, we'll try it one more time. I'm actually putting like quite a lot in my hand. <laughs> it, it's, you know, it had something in its mouth already, so I don't know if it is eating quite a lot. It's so funny because you can see its head like turning, like it's seen it. But I am noticing that on the five time zoom, like I'm saying, it's not picking up focus on the actual bird. It's literally just like focusing on the trees behind it. We'll try and get some close ups of it on the ground though. That's a pretty cool shot. Oh no, see it's not in focus and it's literally like, that would be a perfect shot. Why isn't it getting focused on it? Ah, it's in, I don't know if that's in focus on it. Well, it's pretty close now. Ah, oh, it's just getting the ones off the floor. I thought it would literally take like a day and you'll be able to get it, but let's carry on with the walk. We got some good shots, so I'm happy with that. So let's go. I was actually just about to go when there's actually some horses coming around the corner. <laughs> So that'd be pretty cool to see. Yeah, let's try and get some pictures of these horses as well and see what we can get. So I've just spotted these wood ear mushrooms on this tree and with that macro mode, I reckon we can get some pretty good shots. And I've just looked up and this tree is absolutely covered in them. So we'll try that five times zoom as well and see if we can get the ones all on that top branch. There's actually loads of little mushrooms on the microphone. I don't know how they got there. Right, okay, this is on the five times zoom and you can already like see them. So let's go one times, two times, five times. Wow. That is such a good picture. That's actually holding up really well considering the light is actually behind the mushroom. It's still giving me a really clear image. You can tell what it is like 100%. And just adding in some slight movement of the twigs in front of the mushrooms really adds that depth. That could definitely be a shot from like a nature documentary. So this is without macro mode and it has this really nice bokeh in the background. But as soon as you get closer and activate that macro mode, there isn't that much bokeh and it feels like the quality actually goes down. But you can still get a pretty good shot with the macro mode. The only issue with the five times is that it really struggles to focus. Even the one times and two times, you will be there for a while before you actually lock on to focus. So it's a shame that there isn't like a focus option just straight on the iPhone camera app. Can you guys hear that noise? What bird is that? I can see it. I'll try and get a picture of it. It's that one there. I've got it on camera. I got a picture of it, but they move so quickly. <laughs> Another thing is, like normal DSLRs, you've got the like viewfinder and the eyepiece where you can just pick your eye up to it. And it's a lot more steady and you feel a lot more in control. Whereas on the iPhone, it just feels really hard to kind of track things. Cause like, as soon as you, I think it's the motion blur on the screen. As soon as you move, everything just goes super blurry and you can't even tell what you're looking at, especially at five times zoom. But I really want to know what that bird is because that just sounds so cool. I did drink like 30 grams of ceremonial cacao, so I'm feeling pretty awake right now. <laughs> Almost like I'm in like the Amazonian jungle or something. So something that I've changed on my phone to make shooting in wildlife a lot more easier and just filming in general is to set up your phone in a way that when you open the camera app, it opens to the specific needs that you need. So there's a setting that you can do on your phone where when you open the camera app, it defaults to what you last shot on. So for instance, if you were taking photos and you open the camera app, it will go back to photos. And if you're videoing, on like five times zoom and close the camera app and then reopen it will open on the video with five times zoom and it just really helps save time if there's like a really rare bird in front of you or something you can just press the camera app open it and you're already really close and ready to shoot i've just come across this sticky weed but it looks pretty young like in the summer this gets so big and you can probably remember it from when you like chuck it on people and it just like sticks to their back 
But what's really cool is this is actually edible and you can like put it in smoothies and stuff. I mean, obviously do your research first to make sure you got the right plant, but it does have a lot of health benefits. It's pretty cool because I'm also doing like a real life example of what you will be using the phone for. So that was just the one times and two times zoom of like just explaining the plant, what it does and stuff. I just got a really cool shot of a water drop coming right down on the camera. That was pretty cool. Also, I'm literally just shooting on the iPhone without any external mic, any external SSD, no ProRes log. This is pure iPhone shooting, like just as you would be walking around, grab your iPhone, be able to shoot some pictures and videos. Because I know a lot of you will be filming and shooting like this, so I thought I'd just put it through its paces and see what's possible. Because I've been in a position where I was on the coastline going for a walk and a pod of dolphins just started swimming by and I had nothing but this camera behind me with like not even a zoom lens and this phone. And this phone actually outperformed my camera because it had that five time zoom and I was able to get some pretty incredible shots from just my phone as it is. So I wanna give you confidence that you can just film with the iPhone 15 Pro Max just as it is without getting loads of accessories and other things. Wow, there was a lot of mosquitoes around today, but as you can see behind me, another robin obviously and i just want to quickly show you something else so when you're recording something like this with a lot of backlight you can actually click the screen and press this button up and down with the sun on to adjust the exposure so let's go to five times zoom it's gone now okay Another tip is just keeping your camera open all the time. A couple of seconds could be the difference between you getting that shot or not. And a lot of wildlife photographers always have their camera on. And to do this on the iPhone, you need to go into the settings and enable the screen not to turn off. Guess who's back again? Honestly, whenever I'm on a walk in this wood, this Robin just always follows me. He's like guiding me up this path. Comment down below if you always let animals guide you to new places when on a walk. I always find they take me to the most amazing places. Like, look at this. Wow, that looks a really cool shot, especially with some color grading, that looked really nice. So I've actually just found another stick with a load of wood ear on it. These actually look super nice, so I'm going to cut them off and actually have them for dinner. It does really struggle to focus, that's the only issue I'm having today. It focus breathes a lot, like that is completely out of focus right now. Check out all the King Alfred's cakes on this tree stump. They're actually called King Alfred's cakes because apparently his cooking was really bad and they look like burnt cakes. So let's see what shots we can get on the iPhone. I just broke this one open and the inside looks so mesmerizing. It looks a little bit like turkey tail on the inside and it looks like it has rings like a tree. The dry ones are actually really good to make fires, like you can use it as kindling. Am I the only one who thinks that moss is just the most therapeutic thing in nature? Like, it's just such a unique experience to feel moss, I, I can't really explain it. Sometimes you get really vibrant ones that just look so aesthetic. That's actually a pretty cool seat. I feel like I might just sit on that and watch the world go by for a bit. I actually think that climbing trees and getting into that state of like almost fear is really beneficial. I know it's like not that high off the ground, but when you're looking out, it feels like you're really high. But like after a certain age, you just stop playing and like just climbing trees and stuff. Oh, there's a squirrel. <laughs> Where did it go? There it is. But yeah, after a certain age, you just don't get into that position of like getting comfortable with climbing and being up high and i think it's really empowering just for your normal day-to-day -day life when you pit yourself through that or do that often it just makes you feel so much more like grounded and balanced like not only physically but mentally as well balance your body often so your mind's balanced too that's my new quote i was trying to think what i reminded myself of then but it's the dog out of up when it's like squirrel i literally did exactly that i make talk squirrel now, if you're concerned that I'm not in camo and I'm just like spit myself out there so everything's probably running away and hiding, in the future, I am gonna do a really in-depth video on deer and stag like filming because I know a place literally where like I live where there's just so many deer and no one really knows about it, which is amazing. But they're in the same spot all the time. So I'm gonna go up there and get some really cool pictures of them and post them on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to check it out because I'm gonna start to post all of the pictures that I get when I'm out on my walks and stuff. Wow, I think that was a wild wolf. And also I'm gonna be posting the behind the scenes of this sophisticated Athleisure brand that I'm currently creating, which I've been creating for like a year. I literally posted one short about I'm creating a clothing brand and it's been behind the scenes like ever since. And I put a lot of money into it. So I'm excited when that actually launches. One thing I've actually realized when filming this video is how much nature there isn't like, just looking around you realize how many fields there is and how much like little wildlife there actually is but i've actually got a load of videos coming up about rewilding as well so subscribe if you want to see those and that's actually the driving force behind why i created the clothing brand in the first place so there's yeah there's a lot to explain and kind of 
make videos about that I can't do just in this one video. I think one of my main missions is to use the profits from the clothing brand to actually just buy land and rewild it as much as possible. Like behind me, you can see this here. That obviously used to be like a huge woodland, but it's just a field now. And I've never seen anything in it. But I may be wrong, but I have seen some like rewilding going on there. So maybe they are actually trying to rewild it. So I guess there's two missions, which is one, create a sophisticated athleisure brand that is sustainable and organic. And two is just to rewild as much land as possible while creating as many jobs as I can for people in the process. Let's just say I got a long way to go, but I'll be documenting the whole thing and my commitment to it on this channel. And I'm currently working extremely hard and doing everything I can in my power to make that vision a reality. That's enough talking, let's get doing. <laughs> 